welcome to another movie vodcast here on TV Yorkshire. I'm Darren Harper and join me in the studio once again, it's Katricia Euphigenar Eloise Ma. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. I thought you were going to lengthen my name then. I didn't know where I was going. I think maybe that's a challenge. Challenge accepted. <laughs> no. Okay. One more name a week. By the time we get to next year, your name will be like some sort of memory game. Like a Dutch footballer. Ridiculous, it'll be ridiculous. <laughs> More ridiculous than it is at the moment. Plenty to get through today on the movie vodcast. We're going to be talking about the brand new movies this week, uh, which of course one of them is Steve Jobs, and we'll be picking out uh, one of the uh, TV movies of the week for you. Uh, and there is plenty to choose from uh, this week. Yes. Uh, and uh, some Star Wars news, of course. Uh, but first, uh, let's have a look at some normal movie news. What have you got for us, Katricia? Um, I have got news about Zoolander 2. <gasps> Exciting stuff. It should have been called Zoolander, like they said it was going to be called, but it's called Zoolander 2. Yeah, why didn't they do that? I think it was like a pun in the trailer. Oh, uh, right, really? Yeah, there's, there's been some posters released about yeah. the film. So there's there's one, um, it's been Zoolong. Nice. Um, I think it's that. It's been <laughs> Zoolong. <laughs> hey, it's all right, it's not the best <laughs> pun I've ever heard. Um, and it's them taking selfies of each of them. Oh, yes, yeah. And there's another one with uh, Ben Stiller's character with the perfume. Oh, yes, yes, they're doing a perfume. I, I liked the way they announced it initially, and they did it on, like, was it Paris Fashion Week Milan, or something? Milan, like? I think it Milan was. Milan Fashion Week, and they just had Derek going along doing the blue steel. That, that looked amazing. It's good because the, the model world and the fashion world could be really offended, but they just kind of get all in with it, don't they? And they You'd embrace hope so. it. So hopefully there'll be some good cameos, but we do know so far it's going to be Will Ferrell again. Excellent, good. Ben Stiller again. Yeah. Uh, his his wife, Christine. Oh, right. oh really? Right. Yeah. Uh, Billy Zane. There's going to be some cool. new faces. Yeah. Kristen Wiig, she's having a busy time at the moment, isn't she's she? She's in everything. Olivia Munn, Penelope Cruz, wow. and Fred Armisen. So it's big, it's, again, it's a big Saturday Night Live contingent, uh, yes. as per the first one. I just love Ben Stiller. Yeah, me too. I really love him. Granted, Night at the Museum 2 or 3, eh. Yeah, just yeah. kitty winks. I just like him, though. I just think he's really funny. Uh, I'm, really, I'm really looking forward to it. Is this, this is out next year, isn't it? This is out February. <gasps> February so 12th. we haven't got that long to no, wait. No, not at all. Oh, this is great news. I think they're not going overboard with the advertising because they know there is a chance that it... You know, it might not be as huge as we all think it'll be. Oh, I think it will. This is like Anchorman 2. This is mm. going to be like that sort of big. It's that sort of audience, isn't it? Yeah. I am looking forward to that. It's I think it'll be, be amazing. Good. Oh, it's going to be cool. Uh, another new, new bit of news for you as well. Um, now, we know Disney love uh, creating a live-action uh, yeah. version of their animated films, and they've done a few of them recently. Cinderella was very, very nice, uh, directed by Ken Branagh. We know that Beauty and the Beast is coming very shortly as well, uh, with Hermione uh, as uh, Beauty. And isn't it the, uh, the guy out of uh, Downton is the Beast, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Dan Stevens. Dan Stevens, that's right. Uh, so that, that I'm quite looking forward to. This one, not so much, not so much. I'm not a big Little Mermaid fan. I don't know if, if that shocks you at all. She's my favourite. Is it really? Ariel's my favourite. Yeah, but how old were you when it came out? We were like nine. I was minus, I think. Came out in the eighties, I think. Hang on a second. Oh, good <laughs> luck! No, you're going to make me feel really <laughs> old again now. I hate you when you do this. I don't know when it came out. It Maybe doesn't say on my. Two. It was eighties, wasn't it? It was Maybe like late eighties, eighty nine, yeah. I think. One. <laughs> so you don't really remember it from no, its first but run. But I, I loved it when right. I finally got to see it. I can't remember the first time I saw it, but it's good. Okay. Good songs. I don't think there'll be songs in the new one. No, it's uh, going to be a little bit darker, I believe. Uh, it lost the director. Sophia Coppola was going to direct it. Yeah, so they're still looking drama. for someone to, uh, to direct it. But it looks like they've, uh, they've cast, as the Little Mermaid, Chloe Moretz of Kick-Ass fame. What do you reckon about that? I thought Ariel's quite naive. Yes, she's independent, but Chloe Moretz is kind of strong. Um, she always plays independent characters, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. They've, you know, she doesn't read naive and anything she does you always think she's strong she knows yeah. what she's doing so i think it'll be interesting and definitely they're going to take it in a di different direction so could be all right yeah most probably <laughs> though it'll be rubbish <laughs> uh right now though it's time for star wars news Okay, Star Wars news time, Katricia. This is your favourite part Yay! of the week. <laughs> what I am disappointed with 
-hmm. is that last few weeks you have got on board and got some Star Wars news. This week, nothing. I saw something, mm -hmm. something about something to do with Han Solo and this guy that plays yeah, but that's him, not he's news. retiring or that's something. That's just ramblings. Yeah, I can't remember what I was just thought. Yeah, exactly. I'll let Darren have it this week. <laughs> <laughs> there's, look, there's a couple of bits of news. Yeah. Uh, one really, really sad uh, that um, a young chap by the name of Daniel, um, he saw The Force Awakens. He had a really nasty uh, 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 case of cancer it was a really really awful one yeah. uh, in July he was given two months to live and um, uh, the one thing he wanted to do a massive Star Wars geek he wanted to watch The Force Awakens but he didn't think he's going to be able to survive until uh, December 17th to be able to see it so uh, the lovely people at Disney and Lucasfilm have uh, been able to let him have a look at it um, but un unfortunately he has seen it but unfortunately he died uh, this last week so you know, at least he got his dying wish, which which is great. But um, you know, really, really sad that he's not, you know, been around to see all the everything else that's going to be going on. And not only that, he had a whole community on the internet fighting his battle for him. It was massive, wasn't and it? And that probably made him feel pretty special. That would, wouldn't it? Really, it was a massive hashtag, hashtag force for Daniel. It was a, yeah. it was a lovely campaign. Um, but J J Abrams, who made that happen, um, has been talking about Star Wars, and he's been specifically talking about stuff that's going to be happening in the future. Um, I'm, I don't really want to know too much more about The Force Awakens. I want Me neither, for now a different I've, that's reason. It. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, when it gets to December 17th after we've seen it, we then look forward, of course, to episode eight. Uh, yep. But that's in like, a couple of years' time, a year and a half's time. Can't uh, wait. I know you can't. I know you can't. Uh, the script for eight is written, JJ says. He says, I'm sure rewrites are going to be endless like they always are. Uh, but uh, Larry Kazan and I did uh, set up a few certain key relationships, certain key questions and conflicts, and the new director, Rian, uh, and Ryan Bergen, uh, who's the producer, they were watching all the dailies while they were shooting episode seven. Um, he's, uh, he says uh, uh, it will be Rian's movie. He's going to do it in the way he sees fit. He's neither asking for nor does need uh, JJ to oversee the process. So it looks like... Episode 8 is ready and raring to go. Just a few re, uh, rewrites. Uh, it's great to see that um, uh, Lawrence Kasdan has been involved in that. It looks like um, after these three movies have come out, Lawrence Kasdan is not going to do any more Star Wars after that, which you know is a bit of a shame. It was great to see his name come back because, of course, he wrote um, uh, Return of the Jedi. So it's, a, it's a great to see him come back. Uh, but, yeah, so it just everything that's coming out is just positive. Positive, That's good. Positive. Uh, so, but I don't want to see any more uh, clips. There was uh, some more extra footage. Japanese trailer. Yeah, I don't want to see any more. Don't yeah. want to see any more now. I've got enough. It's only a month or so away before we see it on the big screen. So, that's enough now. JJ, no more, no more. And there's your Star Wars news. So, Star Wars news over for another week. But don't worry, it'll be back. Yay! That's the right answer. Uh, okay, uh, two uh, two big movies. Yeah. One big movie, one yeah. meh, uh, coming out this week. Um, Steve Jobs is a big movie this week, directed yeah. by Danny Boyle, written by Aaron Sorkin, uh, who also wrote uh, Social Network and uh, West Wing, probably mm. more famously. Um, and uh, it's the story, of course, about Steve Jobs and uh, starring Michael Fassbender, uh, Kate Winslet's in it as well. It looks... Excellent. It's got to be better uh, than the the other Steve Jobs biopic that came out. Biotic. Biotic. biopic. Good for your stomach. But it's a biotic, exactly. If he could have done that, I'm sure he would have made it as an apple-based drink. See what I've done there? See what I've done there? See? It's good, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty bad. Um, but I'm, I'm quite looking forward to this one. Ashton Kutcher did one a couple of years ago. That was... Bad. You keep giving it a, kick, a kicking. It is really bad. You've got to watch it to I'm see how it. bad it is. It is on Netflix, the greatest streaming service in the world. Uh, but so do watch it, mm -hmm. um, and then you can compare light and shade, light and shade. Um, but this new one does look pretty good, doesn't it? It does look good. It's possibly surprising that Danny Boyle's taken it on because most of his films in the last couple of years, apart from his heist films, they're quite likable people. And when Steve Jobs entered the world of technology he wasn't that likable was no. he and it's towards the end of his life people saw more of him he was appeared more warm but where the film is centered he wasn't everybody's favorite person so i think that's quite interesting that he's took that taken that on 
I think so. Uh, so Steve Jobs, big new movie uh, this week, so go out and see that. Uh, also out this week is uh, The Lady in the Van, uh, which is starring Maggie Smith. You know a bit about this because you've read yeah. the book, I think. No, I haven't read the book. All oh, right, OK. <laughs> it's, an Alan, it's an adaptation of an Alan Bennett play. Right. Um, it's about a lady that lived in his driveway in a van for 15 okay. years. Okay. So it seemed quite warm and friendly. It did win a lot of awards when it was on um, the West End. Right. And I kind of think, yeah, it looks a bit soft and a bit... But would Maggie Smith put her name to something that was going to bomb? Probably not. She's, mm. you know, of, of her age at the moment, she probably can, she can obviously pick and choose what she wants to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I can't say I'm going to be uh, jumping along to my local city world to it, watch it. It was shown at Toronto Film Festival. It's in a special slot, so maybe we're being too harsh. Maybe we are. But it ju for me, it just says Hallmark Channel. I don't know why. <laughs> yes. I don't know why it does. It just says, or true entertainment. True entertainment, yeah. It's, yeah. it's one of those, isn't it, really? <laughs> uh, talking about uh, rubbish TV channels, uh, let's have a look and see what TV movies uh, we've picked out for you this week. And uh, this week, there are a couple of real humdingers, aren't there? Yeah, there are. I've, I've gone for a, a good one. You love it. Mm. Um, I wasn't, mess as a massive fan of the Hunger Games books, I wasn't a massive fan of the first film. Right. I feel like I need to go back and watch it to get me in the mood for... It, the last one coming yes. out. So that's on Friday, the film four at nine o'clock. Yes, Hunger Games from 2012, and uh, of course stars Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence, yep. Ah, oh, Jennifer. With a lot, a Laura Laura violence. <sighs> Sorry, what? Jen, Jen, Jennifer, Jennifer. Yeah, so Hunger Games, Hunger Games, yeah, that's on. That's uh, that's going to be ace. I'm definitely going to be watching that this weekend. Yes because she is all kinds of awesome. <laughs> uh, so Hunger Games is one pick. I'm going to go for a Christmas movie. Oh? Yeah. Uh, should I go for a bad one or a good one? Why don't you go for both? Let's go for both. Uh, the, the good one is film four and uh, three o'clock Saturday afternoon, Scrooged uh, with Bill Murray. It is, uh, well, we're, we're looking forward to a very Murray Christmas uh, on Netflix, the greatest streaming service in the world. They're not uh, watching, they're not listening. They might do. They might give me free Netflix. <laughs> Um, but Bill Murray, of course, is South Face best as a TV executive. It's basically a Christmas carol, yes. but just in the 1980s and just jazzed up a bit. And it's Bill Murray, what's not to like? It's one of the greatest Christmas movies, not the best Christmas movie. That is, of course, Die Hard. Um, but for a, a, a really crapmas movie... That's what you have to see. You have, that's the best ones you have to see. Sometimes they are. There is one called A Dog Named Christmas. I've banged on about this before. If you get to see it, it's it'll be on some channel somewhere. A Dog Named Christmas. It's just awful. Uh, but this week, the Crapmas movie this week is on Channel 5 on Sunday. It's called My Santa. A disillusioned single mother regains her festive spirit when she and her son befriend a shopping mall Santa. They don't realise that he is the son of the real Father Christmas. Oh, God. Uh, who is training to take over the family business. Uh, but before he can do so, he needs to find a wife. That uh, sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like every other Santa Claus film. In fact, the Santa Claus part two. You were putting put some out. legwork to become friends with a Santa, haven't you, at a shopping centre? Well, you'd have to take your kid, like, every single day. If it was down at, like, White Rose Centre and you go and see the, the Santa there, or at Meadow Hall, that's expensive business. Yeah. That's like a tenner every time. And you, you, you couldn't really have that much banter with them. Oh, he's a bit heavy. Oh, mm. oh. <laughs> it's really, you really would not be able to do that, <laughs> dearie me. Uh, it's a drama, apparently, this, uh, starring Samir Armstrong. Is she from the OC? I've got no idea. I don't, is she really? Is mm. she really? Yeah. That's unbelievable that you know that that's a ridiculous <laughs> bit of trivia 12 35 channel 5 sunday afternoon when you're hung over and you're feeling a bit rough pop on a god awful film yeah love uh, that uh, there's our recommendations for this week so scrooge my santa and the hunger games of course on friday night nine o'clock on film four that's it we've run out of time uh, it's been an absolute pleasure as always patricia uh, we'll be back at the same time next week we there is no time we're not no back time. at the same time next week. No. We'll be back next week. Uh, until then, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from her. Goodbye.